Oh ho ho ho! I bet you guys never expected to see me post something again. And to be completely honest with you, I was not expecting to do it either, but it is so hot today! Icky and boring and summer-like. And I am trying to relax before judging tomorrow, so I have to get my mind off of this shit. So why not post a video? Keep everybody happy, keep everybody informed. I certainly have enough to talk about this time. Oh man! But before I actually do start, excuse any background noise. I have the windows open and there are people in the house. Things just sort of tend to happen when that's the case. You know how it goes. So let's talk about this new problem solving card text we're going to be seeing later in the year. When the first article about it went up, I had my suspicions just like everybody else did. I could not for the life of me imagine how they would fix this clusterfuck. But I was largely hopeful. That's the sort of guy I am. Plus I'm an addict, I have to find a reason to continue no matter what happens to this game. <laughs> I was also pretty angry that Konami would just tease us like that. Tell us, oh yeah, these things are gonna change starting in July, and then tell us absolutely nothing about the new syntax. Really? Ugh, I hate it when they do that. But it was quickly forgiven, quickly forgiven. When the second article went up, I had nothing to complain about. Banish is actually quite wonderful. It's clear, concise, short. It'll make sense to anybody who has read the rulebook once. Much better than that unwieldy remove from play phrase on just about every level. Banish draws a nice parallel to the word destroy while being different enough from it so you know they can't be compared, but they're similar anyway. It's also quite flavorful drawing its name from one of the oldest cards in the book, Banisher of the Light. And that's quite an honor for something that's seen little to no play during its lifetime. It's about time they introduced piercing battle damage as a permanent change. I'm not quite sure why they didn't do it before. I mean, they printed it on one card and then never again. In fact, they even reversed the fact that they used the word piercing on the very next printing. But whatever, it's here now, to stay. We can all be happy about that. I think everybody is on the same page when I say thank God for the hero fix. I do not even want to imagine what cards like Stratos and Ocean and Divine Neos and all of them would look like when they have to write out five different hero categories on them. Fucking heroes. Five? Really? Sorry, I just had to vent about that for a second. So, with all these changes being advertised as minor, I was wondering what the major changes would be, you know? Then, the third and fourth articles happened. Oh man, I came rainbows! That's barely even an understatement, because everything reads so crystal clear now. You won't need to run to the internet to answer your questions anymore. You can be confident that your judges actually know what they're talking about and are applying logic rather than pulling rulings out of their ass. For those of you who haven't read the articles yet, any activation conditions, if any, on a card will be followed by a colon. On a monster card, a colon means that the effect in question starts a chain. After the colon and before a semicolon will be anything activation related, whether it be paying costs or targeting cards or what have you. And then after the semicolon will come the actual effect, the things you do when you resolve the card. This whole syntax is actually wonderful because Setting up effects this way makes them really easy to read, really easy to understand, and I love it! All the examples only furthered my opinion that this is the best thing to ever happen to the game. Hands down. We don't know what they have in store for us in regards to summoning conditions and all those things yet. You know, like Chaos Sorcerer versus Judgment Dragon. When and where and how they can be summoned. But given all this other golden stuff, I'm very confident that they will handle it well. Definitely staying tuned for the rest of it. I think that's about all I have to say on the matter for now.
at least until they tell us more. For those of you who care, the regional I'm judging at tomorrow is in Countryside, Illinois. I don't know how many of you actually go to those, but just so you know, I'll be there. That being said, I'll see you guys later.